What is going on everybody? You're at home nerd here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reacting to episode 3 of Moon Knight. This episode is going to be probably very impactful for the story uh, to come. We last left off with Stephen, Mark, and Khonshu in Egypt. How they got there, no one knows. Maybe some Egyptian moon magic. It looks like we might be getting a little bit of backstory now that we kind of like saw a lot more of Moon Knight uh, and actually Mr. Knight, who was the uh, Stephen's version of the Moon Knight suit. So that was super cool. I definitely think this is when the story is going to get interesting. We saw a lot more action in the last one. And I think now that we're in Egypt, we're going to see a lot more maybe like reckless violence. I think it'd be super cool to see Mark Spector now uh, kind of take control of that body. And we get to see how Mark deals with conflict. And uh, I'm starting to think like in a way, I kind of forget that this is a Marvel show i wonder if they're gonna start connecting the show to like some of the other mcu references maybe some character name drops or maybe they're even setting up a villain for a new movie P possibly gore the god butcher in thor love and thunder who knows i'm excited to see more moon knight action and uh you know what let's just get right into the reaction all right, episode three. Oh, I also forgot Arthur has the uh, scarab now, so that's not good. I, I found him with the scarab, living 20 minutes from our old place. Wait, is this a fake? Already this is legit. Fine. Take them off the black market. Archaeology. One big mess of obsessive bookworms. You know, I really wanted to go into archaeology at one point. Maybe I could have become Moon Knight. You think I would have become a good Moon Knight? Don't? Okay. Fucking crazy cult leaders. Hey, Mark Spector! What is he running from? Why is he doing unnecessary parkour? Ooh, okay. Hey, good. Okay. He's not using his fists. Yeah, psychopath. Why would you do that? Mark! Don't do it, Mark. Stop it. Stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's the other way around! Wait, did Steven take over and try to bring him back to London? Just let us go, man. That wasn't me! Oh, no, there's a mirror right there. Is Steven gonna talk to him again? Mark! That's enough. Oh, in the back of the... Oh, that's not good. Wait, what? I'm so confused now. So it's not, it can't be Steven taking over. You gotta stay away from mirrors, Mark. Where's Harold? It's a really tight scarf, man. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting that. What the hell's wrong with you, Steven? Me? You're the one going on a killing spree. I didn't do any of this. What about the other gods? Are they just gonna stand by and allow somebody to unleash Amit? Anger them enough, and they'll imprison me in stone. See how you fare against Harrow without the protection of my healing armor. Healing armor? Oh. Good ideas? I have a bad one. Why are we looking at the sun? What are you doing? Sending the gods a signal they can't ignore. What the heck? They... That seems like it would mess up a lot of things, uh, Khonshu. An eclipse? Yes, but for a meeting of the Ennead, a portal presents itself anywhere. Wait, Thanks. what? We're gonna visit other Mark. gods this episode? Oh, shit. We're going to Hogwarts, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is getting really cool all of a sudden. Let's see other gods. I want to see what they look like. My days we're inside. Oh yeah, he's... Inside the Steven's just geeking out, man. Arthur? Oh, wait, they're all oh, the avatars. You've been banished once for nearly exposing us, Honshu. But manipulate the sky again, and we will imprison you in stone. Bear me your self-righteous threats! That must have been Khonshu basically talking directly through Mark. <laughs> avatars are not enough! Return from the opulence of the overboard! We decided long ago we did not wish to meddle in the affairs of man. This is a man who literally does not know his own name. Many personalities He's gonna act. he must possess are insane. Oh, Egyptian magic. 
This is not about my feelings. I'm not the one on trial here. He is. He has committed no offense. This matter is concluded. Well, this was not helpful at all. And I kind of wish we would have seen some more gods, but I get that CG probably costs a lot, so. I'm looking for Senfu's sarcophagus. I hope you like attention. Oh, Come God. On. Oh, yeah, Kanchi wants to take over her body as, like, her his new avatar. All right, where are we now? I feel like it's going to get bloody. All right, a little bit of go bags. That's good. That's not good. Medieval times! He's looking forward to seeing you after Madripoor. I'm sure you too. Who are we? Madripoor. Madripoor, that's a reference from a uh, 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 Falcon Winter Soldier. I like the robe. Man, he's a handsome son of a gun, huh? I'm, I'm cutting that. I'm cutting that. I'm cutting that. Guys, I'm cutting that. Uh, hey, uh, future Jackson, Thank cut that. Know. That's right. Wasn't Madripoor? Did they have a lot of like high value items, artifacts, things like that? Why such interest in Senfu in particular? But I think I just would love to take a look. He really needs Steven right now, honestly. Because Steven knows much more about this stuff than Mark does, yeah. I think. Oh, the burial practices are in line with the Stundenwachen taxes. What? It's legit. Yeah, the, he really needs Steven to come out right now. Because he hasn't really disclosed that he's not. Ooh. It's coded. All right, Steven. You want to talk to me? Talk to me. What now? What now? What now is you give me the body and you piss off. Sorry, if you expect my help, it's not going to be while I'm imprisoned. Do you want a bloodbath? All right. You are the worst. I'll take that first piece and fold it over the middle piece. This one. It should make a start. Hey, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Okay. Holy shit. That was quick and everything escalated so quickly. Oh no, are they with Amit? Appears we have a concerned third party here. The lore surrounding these relics. I offer proof that it's real. Do it. Summon the suit. Yes. Give them what they deserve. What are you waiting for? Hey, he's gone. Where is he? Woo! How did he get up there? I don't know. Ah, oh, moon ring. Nice. Damn, just a good shot. Oh my. His cape is bulletproof. Oh, he threw the bullets back. I want to see some hand-to-hand -hand combat, though. Oh my god, he just ran through that shit. Dude, what? Dude, this suit looks so cool. Give me the body mark. Oh, while while in the suit? <gasps> Mr. Knight! That's it, time out. Guys, let's all calm down, yeah? I like let's Mr. Knight. Let's chill the F out and talk for a second. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he said, take my body, take my body. That was a funny transition. Dude, he's getting absolutely stabbed. But it, he has healing armor, though, so he's fine. Ow. Nice. Ow. There we go. Nice, dude. Nice. I've never wanted to cosplay as a, as a hero so much. We need Steven. I summon the gods, you summon the worm. He won't return the body. Kanchu is literally the devil on your shoulder. All right, go ahead, you're in. Cheers, thanks a lot. Dude, he just went from... <laughs> that was cool. Steven? They came up with a way to get about using the sun and the stars. I'm not sure, but if... Oh, wait, hang on a minute. You see that? Stars. Stars drift over time. Not much as far as stars go, but it can mean the difference between us searching miles and miles away from. I remember that night. <gasps> Ooh. I remember every night. I can turn back the night sky. It will come at a cost. I was gonna say, aren't the gods gonna get mad at him for messing with the the sky? Oh no. <laughs> Dude, people, people like not here are like freaking the fuck out right now. Holy crap. That's some crazy shit to see on like a normal night. Is 
does that mean that Mark and Steven aren't going to be able to turn into Conchu or turn into Moon Knight? No! Wait, does that mean Mark dies? Because didn't Conchu save Mark? I have so many questions. You were right that I want you. Had you not broken me so completely, I might never have known the value of healing. I'm going to do what you could not. I want you to remember one thing. Your torment forged me. I owe my victory to you. What a, a cliffhanger almost, dude. Dude, that felt like a much longer episode than it actually was. I feel like so much happened. We we, we went through so much. Huge episode when it comes to like storyline and, you know, seeing more action and seeing the, the, the buildup of characters. It's kind of cool that we got to see the other uh, Inyad. I think that's how you say it. The other Inyad's gods or their avatars, so to speak, I guess. Um, It was cool seeing them have like that little council. Conchu was basically taking over Mark. Mark's body. Shout out to Oscar Isaac, who did an amazing job portraying both Steven and Mark. Even like switching between like Conchu, that was super cool. And I also liked how he went from like the American accent to the British accent in that one scene where they needed Steven. Uh, and I kind of called it. I, I knew that, you know, this story was going to need Steven. His knowledge of Egyptian and ancient Egyptian lore and all of that, I knew that they were going to need that at some point because Mark kind of seemed dumb when it came to all that ancient egyptian stuff so i'm glad that they're using both mark and steven now but they never disclose like what happened at the beginning of the episode uh i guess mark was like beating the crap out of those kids those thugs and his body was being taken over he thought it was steven but it wasn't steven so is there a third is there a third personality that we're gonna see later in the season I, I don't know maybe i'm thinking too much into it i gotta say again the costume of moon knight is just so sick seeing him in the suit the healing armor conch you said and him just beating the crap out of people and he has those little moon boomerang things bulletproof cape and then he sprung it out and made a big old moon crescent like i think it's really creative design uh on marvel's part to, like, on how they made him look and, and i'm sure a lot of it's taken from the comics but to make something from the comics and put it into live action as good as this is just mwah, it's a chef's kiss like it's just so cool they did make a couple marvel references uh they made a reference to madripoor we visited madripoor a little bit in and Falcon Winter Soldier. I, I, that's pretty much all we heard of. I'm sure we're going to see and hear more Marvel references as we go on through the, the next couple episodes. I believe there's three left. I think it's a six episode season. Anyways, this episode was super cool. Let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the reaction, leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. It's absolutely free. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.